Hello everyone. I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Ruby in a Windows 10 operating system. So let's begin. Now to install Ruby, you need to first download it. So for that, just simply go to your favorite browser and in here just simply type Ruby download for Windows, then enter. And then you'll be seeing this Ruby installer.org is basically our first search result. So you know, simply click on this Ruby installer for Windows. This will be automatically going to open this official website of the Ruby installer. In here, you'll be seeing this button called download. I'll be also putting the link in the description, so you don't need to worry about link and all. So just you know, simply click on this download. This will be automatically going to show this list of downloads. So in here, the latest version is 3.0.1 and it's for 64-bit operating system. I have the 64-bit operating system, so you know, just simply click on this Ruby plus a dev kit 3.0.1. So you know, just simply click on that. This will then automatically going to start downloading Ruby. I have already downloaded it, so just you know, simply cancel it. And if I just simply minimize my browser, and if I just simply go to my download directory, you can clearly see this Ruby installer dev 3.0.1 has been you know rightly downloaded over here, and the file size is 137 MB. To install Ruby, just you know, simply double click on it, and if I just simply minimize my download directory, you can clearly see that Ruby 3.0.1 set of wizard has been you know, rightly opened, and you need to first accept this license agreement, and then you know just simply click on next. This is going to be you know your installation destination that is the C Ruby 30-X64. So this is going to be you know your installation destination. If you want to change your installation destination, then you need to just you know simply click on browse and you can change that. And also please do check this add Ruby executables to your path. This is very important guys. Otherwise, you know you need to set this path manually. And you, you can also check this associate.rb and .rbw files with Ruby installation. This will you know automatically going to help to open all these RB and RBW files uh, by your Ruby software. So you know just simply check all these and then you know just simply click on install. So these are the files that you know going to be installed. That is this Ruby 3.0.1 base file and then this Ruby RI and HTML documentation and this MSYS to development tool chain. So you know just you know simply check all these and it's about 912 MB of free disk space that you need to have in your C directory. So do check that and then you know simply click on next. This will you know, automatically going to start installing Ruby 3.0.1. It will take a couple of minutes. So for which you know I'll be coming back after installing Ruby. Yeah. So welcome back. And now as you can clearly see that Ruby 3.0.1 has been you know, rightly installed to run, you know, just simply click on finish. This will you know, automatically going to open your command prompt and it's now currently telling that uh, whether we'd like to, you know, add these three components. So, you know, just simply click on enter so that, you know, it install all those three components. Now just again you press on enter. Now if you just again uh, go to your command prompt and in here just now simply type ruby dash version then enter. You will be seeing ruby 3.0.1 has been you know, rightly installed on your machine. You can also check your gem version so for that you know, just simply type gem dash v and you can clearly see that your gem version is 3.2.15. So now that you know your Ruby and Gem has been you know rightly installed, so you can you know just simply type a simple hello world program. So let's say Ruby dash e inside you know double quotes. Just you know simply type quotes. Then you know just simply type hello world inside you know sing single quotes, and you know just simply click on enter. And you can clearly see this hello world you know rightly prompted in our console. 
So with this, you just you know get confirmed that your Ruby has been you know rightly installed. You can always open your uh, Ruby shell by you know just simply typing IRB then enter. This will you know automatically going to open your uh, Ruby shell. Anyhow, you can do some simple operations. Let's say three plus five enter. So this will you know you know going to tell eight as your output. So you can do all these type of stuff in this uh, uh, Ruby shell. Now I am just you know simply going to show you a simple program in Ruby and I will also show you how to run them. So for that just fire up your Visual Studio and you know just simply click on this new file. This will you know, automatically going to open a new file. So in here if you just simply type puts colon then you know hello world and you know just you know simply go to file then uh, save as and let's uh, you know save uh, and let's you know save these inside this uh, ruby workspace directory in here you know just simply save this file as a hello world dot rb that is basically you know the extension of our ruby file so now that you can clearly see that hello world dot rb has been rightly saved and your this is a simple hello world program now you need to go inside this uh, ruby workspace directory so i was doing this you know angular project so just you know simply go inside that uh, ruby angular directory so you know just simply uh, go inside this uh, ruby workspace so now that you are inside this ruby workspace so you just know that your file you know rightly saved inside this ruby workspace directory as a hello world.rb file to run a ruby file just you know simply type ruby the name of your file so hello world.rb then uh, rb then enter and then you can clearly see this hello world has been you know rightly shown in our console that is this hello world so in this way you install Ruby in your Windows 10 operating system. I have rightly shown you how to install Ruby and then I have also shown you how to write a simple hello world program in Ruby. So in this way you install Ruby in your Windows 10 operating system. I have this website called geekyskip.com. In here you will be seeing various tutorials along with some blogs that I have written. So do check our website geekyskip.com. So that's all for this video friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video then please give it a like and also do share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless.